Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. Time to time to post this to some places. Man, it. I feel like so out of sorts. Like I'm doing. I'm. I'm on. I'm on like I'm on I'm on good pace. I'm on good pace, guys, for for uh I'm on good pace for world record of optimizing my day. I like that it's not Monday is really fucking with me. Really fucking with me that it's not Monday. Uh Okay. Live now! Starting! Banjo-Kazooie! Link below! Hashtag... Uber. Hashtag... Twitch affiliate! Hashtag... Nintendo! Hashtag... Retro! I don't want to put too many hashtags. Five at most. Let's put hashtag rare. Oh, glad the glad the hashtag rare disease is trending. That's great. I hate to see that. Hashtag banjo kazooie. And post a little picture of banjo. And post. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. There's the link. All right. And, and tell the Twitter, or the Discord, at everyone, live now, exclamation, exclamation, link. Self-promotion is complete! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, merry day after Christmas to you, Litnik! Let's get the stream started! Okay, how's that sound? How's that sound? Getting the stream started? You guys like the sound of that? I love the sound of that. Let's get going. My favorite thing to do is to start the stream. When I start the stream, you know, it's just time to... <laughs> Welcome back to the Bokoi Super Stream. I'm your host, your main monster, Mixer Streaming Demon. You already know what it is, and if you don't buy now, ask your mom! Because I'm the one and only Drunk Monkle Mo... Drunk Monkle Mokoi, the real Mokoi. Uh, your new age retro streamer and the king of struggle style. Also, hello, this is my friend, Guitar, Guitar the Bear. Cause we're playing Banjo-Kazooie today! We're starting off Banjo-Kazooie! We're gonna be having Banjo-Kazooie Tuesday for a while. Cause I just wanted to play a fun game. So, you know, not much to do, you know, other than uh, get started, you know? So let's get right into it. Let's open up that N64 capture. Hey, look at that. Well, isn't that nice? I'm just, I'm totally ready for this. 
I'm ready to go. So let's fade that out. That's um that's Spiral Mountain from the banjo uh from the album Banjo Skazui by uh the Holophonics. They don't really do video game cover anymore, but it was their thing for a little bit. Let's make sure the sound is sounding good. Let's make sure the sound is sounding good. Because it's time for Banjo Kazooby. Banjo Kabooby. And Banjo Dabooby. Here we go. Okay, let me mute desktop audio, and then we will see how it sounds on this end. Um, okay, test, check, test, check, test, check. Testing, check, test. Check, 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 check. Audio is cutting out, so... Let's see if this fixes it. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Nope. Nope. Still cutting out. Come on, goddammit. Okay, it should be good now. Uh, let me know if it's not good, and I will attempt to fix it as best I can. It's not a perfect system here. It's not a perfect circle. It's, uh, it's the Mokoi Super Stream. You already know what it is. If you don't by now, ask your mom. Because I'm your only drunk uncle with a myriad of technical difficulties, but, you know, we out here trying our best. And we out here refreshing the wrong source. Okay, wonderful Mokoi, good job. Now I put the headphones on so I can enjoy the wonderful sounds of Banjo-Kazooie. All right, guitar, guitar, are you ready? I guess I could have just erased the first file, but since apparently he only had 14 minutes. Um, but yeah, we banged up on a Tuesday, baby. You done made him mad. I don't know, she's kind of a bear.
Like, damn, Cauldron, you could have just fucking said that she's the best looking. Uh, she's a baddie, bro, and we would not be dealing with this shit. But nah, man, now we gotta go on a fucking adventure. Oh, so welcome home, Litnik. Thanks for being here and not watching the, the horny streams. Cause damn, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see what's going on over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's look at the 18 plus extreme sweaty workout. God damn, she has her fucking headlights on. Gosh. Well, that makes me special. Anyway, back to this. No more watching other streams. Uh, for me. For me. I was watching a different stream. the journey begins i probably only played it for 14 minutes before because i didn't enjoy the um the um trying to use the switch pro controller anyway we got some trash can basically all we can do right now is jump but don't worry soon we'll have an arsenal of moves that will never be contested on the n64 So now we have all of our basic moves. Ah, the bear swipes that we'll probably never use, but we gotta quickly run through all the areas um, that we would have gone to. Because we gotta get a honeycomb. So as you can already hear, this has this awesome dynamic music system where, you know, the music will change uh, depending on what section of an area you're in. All right, but yeah, we got to get these honeycomb pieces. Okay, so we already have the stab. So we do have Banjo's little swipes, but they are the most useless uh, move in the game. So yeah, this is a uh, this is Banjo Kazooie. It was um you know another collectathon on the N64, but it's really good. 
Uh, the second one I like way better, especially because there's a really dumb thing about this game that will come into play later. Um... So basically, every time you enter a level, you have to, like, play it over and over again. Um, or you have to... So basically... I'll get, I'll get the sentence out eventually in a way that makes sense to everybody. Um, so there's going to be some doors later that you need um, music notes to open. The thing about music notes is that every time you enter a level or exit or enter a level or die, um, all of the um, music notes, uh, you have to collect them again, and it goes by, it goes by how many you've collected just in total. Instead of just over time, it's how many you've collected, like, in total in a, in a, in a stage. Or a level, or a world. Yeah, and them statues... They're, uh... Ah, nah. Almost had it perfect. And man, those honeycombs stick around for, like, forever. There you go. Now I feel like we got some insurance. We got some assurance insurance. This is the uh, titular Spiral Mountain, with its icky, gross, nasty, squishy floor. So, you know, Banjo chose some prime real estate, like, right near a big, ugly witch castle shaped like a witch's head. You know, uh, not where I'd choose to have a home built, but, you know. So it's weird that she's a witch, but also she has like a mad scientist assistant. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right, Lidnick. I, I think it's probably, you probably like, Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Oh. So we fit to collect hella jiggies. Huh, I wonder who Mumbo is. I guess we'll find out inside. Okay, shut up, Bottles. We did it! Holy shit, you guys, we fucking did it. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. To Mumbo 
Ghost Mountain we go! I love this game. Okay, we got three new moves. Oh, and that's Jinjo. We want them. All right, so there's these subjugated, enslaved people called the Jinjos, and they'll give us jiggies. Yeah, so in Banjo Kazooie games, everything has funny googly eyes. Hello, El Ramses. Welcome back home to the Mokoi Superstream. Ah, fuck. I'm taking damage! Hey, look who it is! Are you Mumbo? Okay, you're Conga. Oh, look at that! Good to know! Now let's -a go! So, legend has it that Konga was originally supposed to be Donkey Kong. Ow. And, uh... Oh, Chimpy like Konga's orange. Chimpy help fat bear and bird. Uh, so... These guys look suspiciously like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. You know, guys from a rare game. I mean, Chimpy way more than, uh, than Konga, but, you know. Hey, but who could it be in this mound? Well, then I'll tell you about my Christmas with, with the Fighter family. Uh, Fighter and Broder played video games together for the first time in, like, half a decade, and it, it didn't turn out poorly. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't have the butt blast yet, or the the, the ground pound. Guys, I don't have the butt pound. Why is it not doing a hurt on him no more? Got him.
But I think Nintendo was like, no, you can't you can't start the game off with Banjo kicking the shit out of out of Donkey Kong, okay? Look, just because you're right doesn't mean I, I, I don't have to... Listen, I got a bear, okay? Talking about guitar like he's not right here. You should apologize to guitar. He's very sensitive. He's a beautiful and majestic creature. Isn't that right, guitar? Uh... No, I'm Mokoi. But like I said, isn't, isn't that right, guitar? Yeah. He's a really good ventriloquist, too. Listen, we're, we're, we're very in sync, okay? I have known Guitar for about... Also, his name is Guitar, not Guitar. That is G-E-E-C-A-R. Listen, I've known Guitar for about... Uh, how long have we been going? 27 minutes now, okay? We're very in sync, all right? The bond between a monster and a bear cannot be... Cannot be understated. Listen, don't worry, by next Tuesday, I'm gonna rig it up so, um, guitar can also, like, roar and stuff. Right now, he's, he's a little shy, he's a little shy, okay? Look at him, look at his friendly face, and his scribbled, his scribbled fur. What a majestic and beautiful creature. Anyway, assumedly all these purple guys live in these huts, and we're about to make all these motherfuckers homeless. Yeah, and aren't you guys glad I'm at it? The, you know, you know, this counts as lore. Guitar existing counts as lore. You know, being flat koi has really helped add lore, you know? Like that my buns are eyeballs. Another jiggy for me! Yeah. 
you know there was a Doom RPG on the, um, on early cell phones? And they really just rolled out the welcome wagon for that one. True, true. So, I got a friend, goes goes by the name of D-Rex, um, he still makes content sometimes. Dude, like, he made a fucking, like, controller unboxing video, and the production value on it is super high. First thing he's uploaded in, like, five years. Um, just out of nowhere with this, like, controller unboxing video, um, he likes collecting... He's, he's very, very collector-minded when it comes to video games, but he's a pretty cool guy. Uh... But yeah, um... I remember he once told me, like, Banjo-Kazooie is not a game you can play with other people around, because the Talon Trot is so annoying. Because it's like, you're gonna be using the Talon Trot the majority of the game. Because it's just... It's just faster. It's it's faster mode. Like it really shows off Kazooie's core strength. Like I'm gonna be super self-conscious about the whole fucking the whole fucking playthrough, I'm gonna be super self-conscious about it, and I'm only gonna use it when I really need to. I don't know, if we got long ass stretches or we need to move fast, um, we'll be using it. Man, they certainly just are le leaving these jiggies out in the open, though. We're really getting jiggy with it. Like how we're just standing there waiting for him to... <laughs> but, um, I think there's, like, deep lore that Kazooie is, like, the last of her kind, and these guys have fucking red feathers on them, so, I don't know, you ain't gotta be a geologist to figure that one out. So I don't feel too bad about, you know, destroying their their homes and killing them. Anyway, here's here's the bestest guy. He's sleepy tired though. Let me just covertly steal all your music notes. Hello, Ignavelix. Welcome home to the Mokoi Super Stream. When you're here, you're watching. 
Okay, but I seem to have forgot one mumbo token, and I think I know where it is because there's one place I haven't been. Uh, we're just playing some Banjo Kazooie, you know? Uh, a game, a game that I like, not as much as the second one, but hey, I am not broke, all right. I just need to steal this skull from from some some termites. Now we can transform. All right, here we go. We're unleashing the magic. Legend has it that uh, Umanaka is a slightly sped up, um, there's a, a slightly edited uh, thing of Grant Kirkhope saying Umi Knackers, um, uh, because he got hit in the testicles in the sound booth. Grant Kirkhope is quite a character. Ah, crap. I forgot, though. We're going to collect all ten pieces while transformed, so... Um... Adios, motherfucker. We're going to miss the cool dance. Yeah, but, um, like I said about the dynamic music, did you hear about how, you know, how, two, three, four. Can't forget the honeycomb pieces. Me want honeycomb. Dude, I've been getting in honeycomb cereal lately. Um, uh, they took away, they took away, the, the, the Me Want Honeycomb monster is no longer around. It's not bad, it holds up, and it still retains its shape. Unlike other weaker cereals that have changed with the times. Oh yeah, no, what I do is I, um... I eat them... Straight out of the box, and then I, uh, I, while they're still in my mouth, I, I pour a little milk in. Um, that's what I like to do. That's how I eat cereal most of the time. It's funny that she calls him Jam Jars, because that's actually the name of his brother, who will be, who will make an appearance in the next game. Oh. 
Okay, we did get the little dance in the bow, though. Uh, you also get that when you collect 10 Jiggies in a world. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. So this is Brentilda. She's not really that important. The next game will heavily involve the sisters of Grentilda, but, um, not Brentilda. Much like Banjo's sister, she'll never be seen again. Ever. All right, boys, we're going to Treasure Trove Cove. Again, with that dynamic music, I love it. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Sweet. Also, apparently there was a mumbo skull far behind him. But I could not see. There's our next destination, which we might even have enough jiggies for right now. But I like Treasure Trove Cove, so we're going there. We also have to get a power up from there. If you go down to the woods today... I always really liked that tube for some reason. I don't think there's much for me to do over there right now, though, but... Hell, I'll platform over anyway. Oh, more stuff! Goodbye, Bren Tilda, I don't care. Ooh. 
Well, crap, you guys. I can't believe this is where our journey ends. Whoa, that is so crazy. Painting that wall, Gruntilda was not lazy. <laughs> Traveling around was quite disappointing. Behind the chest, none were anointing. Anyway, treasure trove code, boys! Okay, so Snagger's pretty scary. Until you realize if I could properly aim. Damn it. Crap, come on. I'm gonna waste all my eggs on this fucker. <laughs> Fuck it. There we go. So yeah, he, you can take him out. After I realized you can take him out, he becomes way less scary. Unless you have difficulty, like, actually getting him. But anyway, these feathers, they're about to be very important. To why this game is so wonderful and great. But first, this crab on the beach seems quite irate. Let us approach him to find his fate. Hello, Mr. Krabs! Okay. Oh, I think actually you could get him with eggs. Well, forgot about that. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Anyway, now we're in his home because he's a hermit crab. God, you know, it's one of them homes that just seems so much bigger on the inside. Dude, we're gahaying all over the place. Man, but I hope you guys like flat koi, because it's going to be flat koi all week. Well, depending on what I do on Saturday.
Oh man, this guy. This guy right here. Hope you guys are ready for some silliness with this guy. I can't tell what the fuck that sign says. But anyway, they reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, how nice if it Oh, I fell down. Well, time to do some shit down here. Hi. Me, Leaky. No good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? Sure. Damn. He done blew that silly motherfucker up. Bro, we getting them notes. We getting them notes, baby. Baby, we get them notes. We get them notes, man. We ride some boats and we eat goats. Hey, Furball. You're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Huh. Ban Jock Azu. Oi. What could it mean? Whoops. Dynamic music. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. This idiot user. I would kill him with my chaos control. All right, we did it again, boys. That's another piece of the puzzle. So we might come back to there, but we should beware. Because if we use too many cheats, something bad will happen to the bear. Oh, I should have explained. Um, so that's Shark Food Island over there. With a little crate. Man, can't believe it eventually becomes Sea of Thieves. Man, okay, so there's one island in Sea of Thieves where, um... Where, um... There's, like ancient paintings depicting uh, Banjo and Kazooie's plot. But like, this one like dumb idiot on YouTube was like, what is the lore of this thing? They must have worshipped the bear and the bear became a bird and Floyd away. And it's like, D dude, it's just fucking Banjo Kazooie. It's not that deep. 
What is the lore of this island in Sea of Thieves? Could it be that the bear was worshipped and then he became an angel? That's why he have wings then. No. No, it's it's not that. Man, Sea of Thieves is one of those games that's fun for a little bit, but then it's not. And just like how poorly handled some of the event stuff is, I'm just like, ah! Ah! Like, I think right right before I put the game down for good, there was, like, this event where I was like, Oh, go to this place! Light the lanterns to get across the thing! But also, you only have, like, 15 minutes, and also we might drop you into an instance where, you know, 10 minutes have already gone by. Rap! <laughs> Yeah, the treasure chest with teeth. We're gonna find a very special prize in one of them. Oh look, it's a mumbo. But yeah, man, it's just a, it's just a. Little fun, little fun level, you know? It's a little fun level. It's got claims and treasure chests, and there's no pirates to be found. And don't worry about landing on the teeth. They're all for show. Man, it's funny. Um... I was looking at Cool Cool Mountain from Mario 64 from far away, and I, I thought to myself, God, back, back, you know, 20, 30 years ago, we really accepted a mess of, a mess of polygons as, you know, what it was, you know? You know, like we really like accepted like a, a big old mess of mess of blocks as uh as a super cool frozen mountain. You know, I'd say things in Banjo like it's also you never were supposed to see it from that far off, you know. Ha <laughs> ha 
What do you have inside of you? Ooh, two mumbo tokens. So I'm trying to think, what, do you, what does Mumbo turn you into here? Or do they go across worlds? Like, what's, what's going on here, Mumbo? And if I can't remember Mumbo's deal... Got him. We touching them. We we touching. Yeah, no. It really seems like it really seems like you didn't need my help there, buddy. why we came down here. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, come on, come on. Ah, come on. Eek and boke em, baby. Whoops, that's not, that's not a place we can get out. No! Fuck you. I guess we'll call this a draw then. Oh, 
Wonder what's in here? Time to find out! Hey, it's eggs, but we needed those anyway. Oh, right! I saved the best, now that we've gone kind of around the, a lot of the island. Hold on a second. Oh, we can't see it from over here. I think, yeah, okay, there was a wall that had not loaded in. No! No! Hit the brakes! I can't stop it! Oh man, you hate to see a grown pirate cry. Hold on, crybaby pirate. Hey, bottles! This is your big chance to take legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bug. Bo boo, boo guys? All right, we've learned all the cove's new moves, and also. Hello, Mr. Pirate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure! <laughs> Everything just fucking talks in this game. It all just, it all talks. Everything talks in this fucking game. Everything's got googly eyes and it fucking talks. That's what you'll learn about rare games. I sure as Jet Force Gemini is on uh, NSO before, um, like Banjo Tooie. I do love a good Jet Force Gemini though. Never finish it though, because it, it does have like a. Like, it has one final roadblock that's a very bullshit collectible part. Um, it's like, you need to get all the tribals, and I'm like, fuck! Have some treasure! And have some more treasure! Wow, what a silly guy. 
Maybe someday we'll see him again. Oh yeah, we needed to find something this way. There it is! Why didn't I just hit that before? I must have gotten distracted, but oh yeah, no, that's when work started texting me. I almost missed out on these these uh these notes. Gonna really try to just get a hundred like there will be some parts later on where um where I can't get all the notes. Man, but it's really fucking me up that it's not Monday. Like, I'm streaming like it's Tuesday. Um... Would it be he's right here? We just killed a man to watch him die. Oh no, poor Morg Pie. She lost like she lost like 3000 viewers um when Amaranth went live. I don't know why it keeps recommending. I guess it's cuz I keep looking just to be like look at all these Neanderthals enjoying a uh, uh, most uh, a vaguely naked woman. <sighs> what a bunch of ninnies, maroons and ne'er-do-wells. God, I saw a Twitter comment, um, where someone apologized for not realizing someone was a woman and that they're sorry. And, like, you know, the response was, get help. Um, which I'm just like, this guy's gotta be, like, playing a character or something. No one, no one really says that. Yeah. Let's see. Oiled up Mrs. Claus. 18 plus oiled up Mrs. Claus. Opening gifts from, uh... Maybe she'll get a gun again. That was fucking nuts. Some guy like Sender, 70... 70,000 and like... A gun. Like, Jesus! <laughs> this big run till this booty, touch it if you dare! Okay. Oh no! No! What the fuck? Oh shit! The barrel knocked me underground! 
I'm going to die. Not today, Satan. Okay, it looks like she's kind of just texting on her phone. Okay. I just don't, I don't get it. Okay. Well, that was our check-in on... Ah, I don't get it. <laughs> that golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. Now I don't know how she makes the game harder, but I'm not gonna fret. I've beaten this game like twice. And also I tried Googling it real quick. How do she make it the game harder? Anyway, now we're way up on top and listen to them seagulls. Those seagulls remind me of um, Mystical Ninja because I think I think they use the exact same seagull sample. In a kind of quiet place in... Um... Man, that's a game I'd love to stream. But, like I always say, it's like my... my my current capture for, um... Like, my current capture for any games is not good. Like, I'm using a $20, like, HDMI to USB cap... Well, I mean, I'm sure they're all kind of like that, but it, it's not like Elgato. Afronix sent me his old Elgato. It don't work, though. Um... I tried. I tried to make it work, but... He's like, oh, shit, sorry, and I'm like, eh, it's okay. You know, what, what are you gonna do for free, you know? What's the saying? Is it, what are you gonna do for free? It's like, easy come, easy go, say la vie, you know? I love that Banjo will just stand there while they, while they fly away. But yeah, um... Yeah, like, my console capture isn't perfect already. It's good enough, it's good enough, but, like, if I... The fucking, like, component to HDMI converter I got, which I thought would be, like, the best solution... Uh, no. There's... The audio desync is so bad that I'm not okay with it. That I'm like, this is, this is beneath what I am willing to put out. You know, I stream at, like, 480p, but audio desync? Fuck no! I will not have it! I will not have it! Welcome home, Commander Striker. Uh, no, I will not have it. Well, 
Good that we found that. Oh, wait, you can go inside of it. But yeah, I would love to stream at least um, Mystical Ninja and maybe Goemon's Great Adventure. All right, so, and with this, we have, that's a wrap on Treasure Trove Cove. Take a bow, Banjo. Yeah, we're not even an hour and 30 minutes into the game. We've already fe beaten two worlds. Damn it, I'm on the wrong side of the fucking island. Bye, treasure chests! Ow! I don't know who Banjo is voiced by. I don't know if that's just Grant Kirkhope. I know, I know a lot of the sound effects are also by Grant. Um... I don't know if he voiced Banjo. You know, maybe that's not the best ones to go for. Unless... Okay. Yeah, no, there's... There's not gonna deal with that. We're just gonna go get some honeycombs outside. Yeah, my console capture isn't that great either, but I got better when I added the Retro Tink 5X to my capture chain. Oh my god, the monsters have escaped the world now that we've been there, but they tell you that already. Man, but yeah, the days of the week are really messing me up. Um, and I'm sure until, like, next, next week, I will continue to be messed up. So don't appreciate the card's audio crackle and disdain for switching inputs while active. Man. That's kind of what happens with my, uh... With my capture, but weirdly enough, it's the splitter. Like, unplugging and plugging back in the splitter will fix it. So I don't know, man. It's a process. You gotta, you gotta trust the process. That's what, that's what makeup people say. You know, when they, when they, when they've got everything on their face and they look, they look ridiculous, like. In the midst of application, they go, you gotta trust the process. You know, and then they like... And then like eventually it looks good. All right, boys, we're heading for Clanker's Cavern. Hey, you guys know when you have a screwdriver that just doesn't quite work? Um, that's just not quite the right size. That's like almost... It's like almost right there, almost good enough so that sometimes you stick it in. I'm having that trouble with um, all the screwdrivers I have and my fucking switch controller, cause like. Sweet, we found just one invulnerability feather for 
for the Wonder Wing. Uh, but um, yeah, no. So, no, I ended up busting out the old, the other Switch Pro controller that had drift that just didn't seem to be too much of a problem for Broder because he was using it. But I, I look at it, and I'm like. One of the things about it was also like a bunch of gunk got caught in because it's a it's an earlier model one where like gunk would just get caught inside you know the grooves like I don't know dead skin or something and it just looks really icky but and I'm like well since I already have another pro controller already I don't mind disassembling it some I got one of the the handles off and super easy to just get that fucking gunk out of there um but for the life of me, couldn't unscrew the other screw. Uh, cause you know, you know, sometimes when you have, when you have kind of the right size, but like, you know, once every hundred turns, if you angle it right, it'll come out. I just, I stopped, I stopped at that point. I was just like, I got one off, couldn't get the other off. I'm like, I guess I'll just go buy another fucking screwdriver. Just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. You guys ready for Clankus Cavern? This crabs and dabs and uh, Babs and, and Buster Bunny, Dizzy Double Ducky, Furball is unlucky and Go Go's insane. You know what else is insane? Being afraid of that fucker. You ain't gotta be scared. Just jump a peck. And platform, and platform. <laughs> Sorry, there's only room enough for one weed. W weed. I was gonna say, I was trying to say weird and green, and I ended up saying them together, and it was weed. Oh god, I forgot about Banjo's little fury swipes. His little sucko swipes that don't do shit. Dynamic music! p 3 controls, I run into an issue where it registers multiple buttons and D-pad inputs at once. Turns out, literally a little pad that sandwiches a ribbon cable down, added some paper under the pad, and then it fixed the issue. Man, okay, so like... Man, putting a little piece of paper in, control in a controller is the most annoying thing to do like um with the HTC Vive um controllers there's also a problem kind of like that and oh just put a little fucking piece of paper in and I'm like that is so stupid that's so stupid just design your fucking shit better you assholes Like, I get it. Not everybody has time to test the durability of something for, like, five years. That would take five years. Wow, well, guys, just like Korone Inugami says, is she still, like, popular? I'm sure she is. I'm just, you know, I don't really see her. You know, what's me, Korone? Doing the thing. She also didn't she stop doing like English streams? I always thought those were funny. I watched a few. I watched a few. I was like, funny dog says funny thing.
Oh, haha, -ha, she says she's the ass. All right, boys, now it's time to take the plunge into the dungeon. Oh, Clanker. You know what eventually happens to Clanker? He becomes a fucking uh, museum installation. In Banjo Land, which is such a cool level. Too bad it's in a bad game. God, dude, please make Banjo Fory, somebody, please. Please, I need I need the end of their legacy to not be um fucking nuts and bolts. I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Don't mind if I do, Gloop. Hey, thanks, Gloop. Dynamic music. Dynamic music. Don't worry, Jinjo. You'll get nuts and bolts too and love it. No! I want Banjo 3! At least he got into Smash. Like that's something I wanted since I was a, since I was a little boy, a little Mokoi Junior, just a little monster. All right, we got the Jijo. Now we have to swim through a key. Come on! Hey, we did it together! Me and you together! Gloop? Gloob? Whatever your name was? We did it together! Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. All right, Gloob, let me get some of them bubbles. I gotta get back to the surface. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a break for it. My hubris will be my undoing. No, we're not gonna make it. He's gonna make it! He's not gonna make it! He's gonna make it! <gasps> Spider-Man! Sam Raimi Spider-Man, baby! Why he is robot, but also has bleeding blood? Man, did you guys ever get, like, the VHS tape promoting this game? 
Like, I don't know. I think it's that Nintendo would send it out to, like, people subscribe to, or households subscribe to, like, Nintendo Power or something. But they would send out, you know, this was in a pre-YouTube world. Uh, this is, you know, pre-YouTube world. Um... Back when we'd have to go through the guy from from Full House if we wanted to f see funny videos. What terrifying times those were. Oh my goodness. Snippet mutants are we, Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. Oh my god, the mutant crabs. They're so much more difficult than, uh... Speaking of mutants, um... You guys want to hear about my dreams? Uh, so I've been trying to, like, go to bed earlier on nights when I don't have a reason to, When I literally have no fucking reason to stay awake. Um... When I literally have no fucking reason to stay up, I'm like... I, you know, I have this thing, you know, it's, it might be the bipolar disorder, it might be attention deficit disorder. Um... But I really just like to stay up late, just doing nothing important. Um, I was in bed by nine last night, um, which is insane for me. Like, if I sleep for a really long time, I dream a shit ton, and like... Okay, cave babe break. My dad wasn't the coolest guy, so I I sometimes have bad dreams about him returning and just really just returning very vengefully with, you know, the the just immediate hope of fucking things up for everybody else. Um Not a, not a very radical dude. Um And they usually end with me remembering that he is dead. And either the dream ending and I wake up, or, like, he explodes. But yeah, that was one of the dreams. And then another dream was I met a really nice lady. Um... But then I was on a school bus? Like, like we were gonna meet up later, but, and then I got on a school bus for some reason. I wasn't a child! I was a grown man, and then there was like an empty school bus. Uh, except me and the bus driver. And then he's like, okay, don't worry, I, I just have to park. And like, instead of parking, um, and it's weird, cause like, you know when you like remember specific details? Um, uh, so I was in a real world place I know, I was in the parking lot of the grocery store that I normally am, but I was on this bus, and he was like, he was like, don't worry, just gotta park, and like, he kept trying to park the fucking bus, but he just kept fucking ramming, he just kept like fucking like tapping people's cars. And going, oops. And then I I think I was uh, on there for the rest of eternity. And then I had another dream. I was at work. And there were mutant rats everywhere. Just uh, chewing through metal and people. And I'm just like, this is, a hey boss, this is a problem. This is a fucking problem. And true to real life and reality, even when there was a huge fucking problem, they're just like, no, no, this is not a problem at all. Stop being stupid. So it was vaguely true to life, um, but also, uh, is one of those, I, I mean, I, 
I've had a lot of unpleasant dreams where it's like I'm the only person who's aware of a problem and the rest of the world seems just like very un nonplussed, disinterested. Um, which I hate that. Um, Which man reminds me of a of a time um, I was at a I was at a burger joint with a uh, local legend Thad and some other people, some other friends, and it's like me and local legend Thad were the only people who realized that there was like there was this dude like who looked like he was about to just go like postal. Like, a homeless guy came in and, like, um, the dude was already, like, super pissed off looking, um. Then, like, a homeless guy came in to, like, ask, and he was like, oh, man, he's like, I'll fucking kill you! And, like, still, it was only me and local legend Thad out of our group who was noticing this problem. Everybody else was just, was very, uh, was very non- uh, unaware of the situation. Also, kayfabe break over. Um, but speaking of being the only person who notices something, um, that's kind of how me and local legend Thad met. Um, uh, just for everybody who doesn't know, he's a friend of the friend of the channel and a good friend of mine. Um, Uh, very, very good, dude. Very good, dude. Um, but he, he's a very distinct looking guy. Like he looks, he's, he's a very specific looking, looking person. Okay. And I would see him at things and like, I'd see him at other, like completely unrelated things. And like, And I, w I would see him at things, and I'd see him, like, at unrelated things, you know? I'd see him at, like, shows and stuff, and then I'd see him at, like, other shows of bands that just... You know, because... Back then, in the early 2010s, you know, a lot, a lot of bands knew each other in the local scene. Um, so, you know, you expected to see, like, some of the usual suspects at, like, certain bands' shows and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, at like totally unrelated stuff, um, I'd see him and I'd just be like, I'd just be like, is anybody else gonna like mention this guy with this, who, who looks the way that he does? Um, the, the very distinct thing about that is his hair. It's just, it's, he's very, he's very hairful. Um, very distinct, very distinct hair in volume and texture and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I was like, is, is anyone else ever gonna mention this guy? Is anyone else ever gonna mention this guy? Am I like the only person who sees him? Like, I didn't really think that I was like going crazy and there was this hairful man that, you know, only I could see, but I was just like, it's so weird that I see him at, like, different places, and that nobody would ever, like, mention. And then, I finally saw him at a, at a, at a, at a, you know, venue small enough that I'm just like... I forget who I was even talking to, but I was like... I was like... Like, I was talking to, like, an acquaintance. Like, definitely not, like, a friend guy, but, like, an acquaintance. And I was just like, that's the guy! And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, that's the guy! I see him at, like, so much stuff, and I feel like I'm the only person who notices him, and he's he's just a very distinct-looking guy. 
And I was like, I was like, I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna say, hey, what's up? I've I've noticed you at things, and you look very distinct. And it's been odd for me that no one else has been like, man, that guy's a that guy is an interesting looking fellow. Um. I will not fall this time. But anyway, I'm finally like, I'm finally like walking up to him and I'm like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say hello to this man and I'm gonna explain the situation. Here I go. And then I get intercepted by my friend who I, who I came to see perform that night. And she's like, oh, have you met local legend Thad? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Hello. Man, I sure have seen you at things and unrelated things, and I, I've always thought, man, that is a unique looking fellow. Wonder what, wonder what's up with him? And he was like, oh, okay. Well, hi. And he's like, what have you, what have you seen me at? And I'm like, oh, you know, this show, that show. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm friends with those guys. And I'm like, that's cool. I like them too. And that's, that's how I met local legend Thad. I don't know, and we kind of hit it off, because, like, he kept, he started being around things, you know, and it's like, um... I don't know, I started hanging out with people who were like, you know, I was like 20 at the time, hanging out with people like 10 years older than me, and Thad was only like two years older than me, so you know, there was a, we, we were closer in age and stuff, and you know, we were just, we were just homies, uh, we hung out a lot more before he moved, like he's not like far, far away, but it's like he's not right down the street anymore, um, you know, in, in the, in the hustle and bustle of Seattle. All right, we finally go inside of Clanker now. Damn it. All right, we got 67. Don't push me under, Clanker. Don't push me under, Clanker, you stanker. God damn, I'm really not doing well in these fights. Nice. Man, like still in my mind, I'm like, it's Monday and I have to go to work after this. And it's like, no, but I'm not, I'm not on Monday time. I'm on Tuesday time. But like mentally. Okay, okay. Where's Cody, man? Oh, 
He's probably doing holiday stuff still. Yeah, no, it's weird. We're in that weird phase where it's like, where it's like for some people it's, all right, time to go back to work. But for other people, it's like, I'm still on vacation. And it's like, you know, six days away from Christmas is the new year. Fuck. It's the new fuck. Um, It's okay, I can do this, I can do this. we go I just won't miss it this time great strategy Mokoi really a master tactician and I've done it boys man remember in the sunken ship uh like when you open up all the chests and then the water starts um, uh, draining, so you can like hop up all those barnacles or whatever to get up to the uh, star. You know, I I thought I was like omega brained the the time that I started swimming up towards it to skip a lot of the platforms. And I was like, oh my god, I'm the smartest man alive! I was like, yo, where my Nobel Peace Prize at? I forget. I didn't. I didn't know. I did not recall you being able to fucking fly in here. But I guess you can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. All right. Here we go. Wonder Wing, Wonder Wing. I did it. Well, that was fun. I just, I do love that it's like the, I don't know what you call that. Da -da 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 -da. Was it like the cavalry call or something? What's all the way down here? Could it be Jinjo? And what's in here? Oh, it's the outside. Well, it's like Mike Pence once said, there's nothing better for the inside of a man than the outside of a horse, which I don't know about that one, Mike. You don't really need the Wonder Wing for this. Ah, shit! I like how I say that, I then get hit, and then instead of being cautious, I just fucking run. Moko, you crazy guy. You wild stallion. You unbridled maverick. Uh, cafe break, but yeah, no, it's weird. Lately, people don't seem to know that I have a brother, and it's like, well, I mean, I guess it's not a huge thing, but it's just, it's weird that, like, people who I've known for, like, three years, like, a year, almost two, I think two years now on one of them, um, people who I've known for, like, a year or, like, three years, like, they go, I didn't know you had a brother, and I'm like, has this never come up, like, even once? All right. Okay, cafe break over. Okay. How many jiggies here do I have, though? It must be somewhere in Clanker I haven't been yet. A little weird that one of his lungs is up and the other lung is down, but you know, to each their own. Chalice their own. Isn't that an actor lady? Chalice their own. It's so fucking funny to me. Um, 
You know the Valentine song. Um, you know what? What's in the Guilty Gear? How one of the fucking things right before Buckle Up is to each their own, and I'm like, Sh I don't know about the 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 shriek vocals for to each their own. I feel like that's the least. I feel like that's the least appropriate thing to say using that intonation. To each their own. You know, and then buckle up. And it's like, okay, yeah. Run, rub a double, yeah, yeah, too late, my baby. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, okay, there's only five more more music notes and two jiggies. I gotta I gotta find them. I can't just leave without these fucking jiggies. They're right over there. Or two of them, at least. All right, Clanker, Clanker, line me up. Uh, no, 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 fuck! Not quite. I don't think you get the ability to ledge grab until the next game, so we're gonna have to get this jump real good. Missing something here. Climb up here, okay. All right, not the easiest thing to notice in the world, but okay. All right, calm down there, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming, Luigi. Oh, thank God. Uh -huh. I can't believe I'm about to complete the first three worlds in under three hours. I guess I'm just the fastest gamer of all time. Hey, an extra life. Well, you know what they say about a man with extra lives? It's extra, yeah, really, world record pace.
Yeah, actually, the, the, the three times I fell off the uh, little bar up here was actually me buffering um, for um, super... Super Booper. Okay, somewhere there's a switch. I gotta push for that thing. To get that little gate open, right? Or I just have to attack it. I feel like there's a little gap. Yeah, there's a little gap, so I can't quite do that. Never fucking mind. Okay. Okay. Just a little tap, and that's it. Alright. And that is Clanker's Cabin, or Cavern. Ha! Could you imagine if Clanker could fit into a cabin? Ridiculous. He's a big... He's a big... Shark? Yeah, he's got gills. Okay, bye, Clanker. Love you. Don't worry, Clanker. One day you'll be relocated to a museum where you'll be... Stuck, uh, in a wall. <gasps> Clanker's Cavern? More like... Yo, what if, what if he... Guys, what if Clanker smoked the weed? And then he, he and said his name was Danker. I do gotta go grocery shopping after this. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about how I'm sleeping more late lately, but I'm like, okay, so what I gotta do tonight is I wanna watch Everything Now show, and then I gotta take I gotta take all the trash out. Um, which you know, and then I have to do like my nightly rituals, and it's like. If I should do it, I should be able to go to bed by, like, midnight or midnight 30, um, which I know sounds absurd to some people. But yeah, it's just like, I gotta get out of here on time so I can, so I can go watch, uh, so I can go to the grocery store, because I didn't go to the grocery store yesterday, because yesterday was, yesterday was Christmas. Whoa, what's in here? Camera, camera, come on. Oh man, so many pieces needed for Bubble Gloop Swamp. Guess I'll just come back later. Damn, I need an entire eight pieces. Or was that seven? Whatever. Bubble Gloop Swamp it is, baby. Baby. 3,000? Ooh, it's boogie. Just getting the real clear. <laughs> While everything else is kind of like tuned, you know, 
muffled by the water. By the water. I don't like stairs much. In my lair, they always make me gasp for air. I don't like... You know, I don't know. Today I could immediately feel my my lungs collapsing as I tried to uh, tried to do a witch voice today. I was getting a cough drop. Let's see what. Let's see what. Let's see what. Uh, 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 uh. Man, you think I'd get more viewers if I just put 18 plus on my stream? Because it's like, I don't know. I really don't want people under 18 watching. I think it's, I think it'd be not a good idea if you're a little baby babu to be watching the Mokoi super stream of all things. But anyway, I like, I like this part because it gives you a little, it gives you a little, little, little look at um, some stuff for later. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I know, I know. I'm always thinking of, I've always, I'm always in my little peanut brain. I'm always like, how can I trick people into watching? But it's like, it doesn't actually help. It doesn't actually help. I remember one viewer stuck around uh, because he was all like, I'll give you a follow if you duel me in Master Duel. And I said, no. I would rather people who... I would rather get follows from people who want to stick around and watch my content. Yeah, I mean, it is all about spirit betting. It's, uh, I said, I said, oh, we're going to try different things now on the stream. Um, but <laughs> I immediately default back to an entire week of games. Like you got you got one one different stream and then I said Saturday we'd do stock photo showdown. Her her Mokoi 1v1 me for gold outside of Stormwind and wow. Her her No. Also welcome home, B Rex! As long as you're happy, that's what matters with the Bokoi Superstream. You did try, and sometimes trying is the best you can do. I was gonna say, yeah, but also, guys, remember to wash your sheets. Um. It's good to wash your sheets regularly. I say as I try to think of the last time I did. Um, gorsh. So I don't know, Amaranth is in a cowboy hat.
God, I really do need to wash my sheets more. Um... I usually wash them if ever I drop a blanket on the floor, then I go, okay, time to wash my sheets. But I'm really good at not doing that, so I'm really bad about washing my sheets. I'm the worst at washing my sheets. Ugh. I'm such a gross disgusto. Mistake isn't a cowboy, damn well. Guess it's raining money. Uh, what? What? Mis mistake isn't a cowboy. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, um. Yeah, no, my new- one of my new bits is I unironically tune in to, like, boob streamers and then go, wonder what's going on that's such high-quality entertain- Okay, she's got- she's got boots on. Right? Keep your eyes open for your new boob, beak face. Oh wow, that was an easy find. Ah, bottles! Those are the wading boots! Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken er kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I think there might still be time for the human race to redeem uh to redeem itself. Like at least we're all miserable cuz we notice there's a problem instead of living in constant suffering um and being like, "Ah, what a beautiful day." Wow, somebody sent her the Pokémon cards. Oh no, her camera's flipped. All the words are backwards. Hopefully, are you, Mokoi? We can't expect God to do all the work. You know, I hope that mankind overcomes its flaws as a society, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. Like, I hope eventually the- the inherent goodness that is within all man, uh... ...stops being stomped into the earth by, um... ...you know, corrupted, soulless men with machine hearts. You know? But right now, let's feed these shiny gators! I don't need us to go that far, I just hope men and women stop absorbing garbage because they are lon- Yeah, no, the loneliness epidemic. Yeah, we can- we can do without the- the loneliness epidemic. I- I am ready for that to be over, too. I think everybody's ready for that shit to be over. This is piranha water! Keep your smelly feet out! Jump, Banjo! Damn! Does this controller have drift? Oh, not a good, not a good place to test that. Okay, there is a little.
Not been in a committed relationship in seven years. Never once felt a need to tune into some content. Uh... Is really stuck in there. Um, do 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 I'm gonna take a really quick bathroom break while I, um, while I, while I get, uh, like, a Q-tip. Alright, really, stand by for Mokoi technical issues. No! Okay, I got it. Alright, back on to the, the screen I come. Yeah, no, it's just it's it's really kind of weird and sad that like there's 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 a lot of dudes out there who just like you know, you know, I feel like I feel like they're also the same guys in like Instagram comment sections being like, "You're beautiful, come to Brazil." Shit, son of a bitch. Fuck off. Damn. Yeah, the wonderful thing about it is it, it wonderfully resets your note count. And also your progress on any, like, little quests. Little questy dues.
Yo, sweet, beautiful princess, will you marry me? Like... Does any guy of those guys think that that's actually gonna work? Unfortunately, Kimosabi, it's it's not. Yeah, I, I guess. Ah, no! It's going to happen again! Like, I mean, it's like, uh, get a hobby, you know? Find something to occupy your fucking time, bro. Like, yeah, maybe, like, if I'm sitting there trying to go to sleep, sometimes I'll be like, Man, sure I'm lonely. Wish I had a cute GF. Etc, etc, blah, 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 you know. But, like... Going on to Instagram and commenting on every, like, attractive lady. I'm just like, there's gotta be a better use of your time, homie. Oh, gosh, at this point, I'd settle for that. I'd settle for a... Decently sized I would I would settle for a average sized emo GF Settle for a, a, a mid sized emo GF. But no, nah, like some studies show that, um, like by 2030, um, like 60% of women will be alone too. And like, all right, ugly hairy trespasser, he's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. I'm sorry, I just, I landed somewhere I don't think I should be, so I'm sorry.
You know, see, here's the thing about it, though. I, you know, yeah, if you, if you don't, if you don't think about it for more than, like, two seconds, it sounds like, oh, yeah, boys, there's gonna be single ladies everywhere, but it's like, no, they'll, they'll probably be alone because they also have some issue with, with dating. Or they also are living in a life where they don't, like, meet new people very often. Etc. Etc. And they'll be online making their person making their entire personality and social structure based around how they can't get laid. God, it's already starting. They they already have a word for it. It's called femcell, and they they also have the ridiculous shit that like incels have about oh your facial structure, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, they've got this thing called the Witch Skull versus the Angel Skull. They're like, sorry, if you're born with a Witch Skull, you're just never gonna be pretty. Sorry. Go home. Sorry, you'll never be pretty. Bye. God, like, these motherfuckers out here be doing, like, bone smashing now. They're like, they're like, oh, clearly our ancestors were more attractive because they got the fa b bones in their faces broken often. So clearly, I should just take a fucking hammer to my jaw, and if I just keep doing it, eventually I'll be beautiful. Like, bro, bro, it doesn't have to be this way, bro, bro. It doesn't have to be this way. Like, bro, save up for some plastic surgery or something. Don't fucking smash your face with a hammer. What are you doing? Are you fucking in... I mean, obviously, yes. I mean, it, the the witch skull, angel skull thing is is nonsense anyway. It's like like you have to live under the assumption that only two kinds of skulls exist. Um. No, yeah, a lot of fem cell and incel beliefs are constructed by people who don't know what the fuck science even is, but they say it once and then everyone goes, ah, oh, yes, something else I can blame my problems on, or some kind of magic fix that will solve all my problems, and I will have a beautiful girlfriend now. Thank you. 
Oh no! No! What the fuck? I can't get under there to get the thing. No! Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? What is this? I can't get underneath for those fuck. Okay, right, right, right. I mean, it's gone down since dating became a catalog flipping challenge. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, we were talking about this the other day. Um, dating apps just feel so fucking empty. Um, it's one you judge people completely on fucking appearance. Or whatever stupid shit they wrote, which... You, you find that, like, no one knows how to properly, like, sell themselves. They'd be like, oh, you know, I'm an, I, I'm an, I, an IFJNP uh, Hogwarts house. Like, and that immediately just makes me go... If you're a grown woman describing yourself via, like, fucking pretend schoolhouses, like, fuck off. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Oh, let me help you. I don't really know how helpful I'm being there, pal. Um, thanks to warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Sure, thanks. Oh, don't ever say that again. Uh, but yeah, no, just like... And just like horoscope shit, like if you front load that shit, I'm gonna go, you're weird and stupid. Um, bye. You're weird and stupid, goodbye. You know, like... Fuck, I'm sorry. Can't can't deal with that shit. Bye. Like, and if I'd had that shit like dulled out to me slowly, I'd probably be like, yeah, okay, whatever. And like, when someone's just a picture on a phone, it's really easy to just go, Uh, you're the ugliest person I've ever seen. When it's like, well, you know, some people just take really bad photos also. And also, if you had any sort of, like, emotional or humanizing connection to this person, you might think differently about them. Yellow. Purple. Dark blue. Mm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Dark blue. Red. Dark blue. Red. Purple. Light blue, dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, a pink, dark blue. Ooh. 
Oh, right, I'm going to die in here. Okay. Light blue, dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, pink, dark blue. Dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, dark blue, no! Fuck! Light blue, dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, pink, Okay. Purple pink then then dark blue. Okay. Magnificent true masterpiece here. Take this trick you found earlier. All right, buddy. I'll see ya. I'll see ya in uh fucking. God, I forgot it. It's, it's still winter, so it gets dark really fucking early. Like I'm already like, oh my god, it's getting so dark out. Please, please, just any kind of fucking, any kind of fucking, please. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's what desperate guys say. They're like, any kind of fucking, please. No, oh, shit. Okay, I forgot. I forgot you have to, like... Playing it safe, playing it safe. Do 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 please a honeycomb or something. God damn it! Uh. It's so stupid! Oh my god, and the Jinjo's reset. Fuck off. Like, it's super annoying how everything just resets, um, bad game, bad game design. And they realize that because they fucking undid it in the next one, or they, they, they did it for the first time in the next one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, but if you die, you just gotta come back and do, like, specifically a fucking, you know, music note run around the level, you know? It sucks. It is the socks. <laughs> ha, what time to spit? Yeah, really. But they fixed it by the second game. They fixed it by the second fucking game. I think you can recollect jiggies you already have and it doesn't like affect anything. There we go. Hey Mumbo, I've collected like 18 skulls. 22 skulls even. Which wow, that it's going to take like half my skulls for this shit. So I think in the next one also, it's like, only mumbo skulls you get in that world count. Actually, no, it, there's not even mumbo skulls in the next one. You get, um, you get, uh, globos. There's two globos in every world, including the overworld, and you get, um... Now we are a little gator, and we're gonna run around, and we're gonna we're gonna bite people. <laughs> and we're gonna joyously move through here with impunity. Man, and I, 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 I've I, never, like, gone out of my way to watch a video by this guy, and I can't even remember what his name is. There's this guy who's, like, on YouTube, and he's always in the YouTube shorts, and he's, like, he's walking around barefoot in, like, the Florida fucking Everglades, just, like, grabbing poisonous animals and stuff, and I'm like, okay, I get it, you're, like, Steve Irwin, haha, but I'm just, like, at least put on some, like, he, he makes sure that people know he goes in barefoot, I'm just like, man, like, God, and I feel so old that I'm thinking, kids could imitate that? But I'm like, yes, kids could specifically imitate this shit. I'm like, Jesus. I mean, Jesus. Is it entertaining? I, yeah, I guess. Uh, is it educational? Nope. I mean, he says the name of shitty grabs, and he goes, this is poisonous, but it's like, okay, I don't really know anything about it now. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little hater. Her, 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 I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crock of all, but I my game to win a prize. Press A to accept a beer and check it out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumbly yumblies in me. Okay. Well, yeah, I get my, my content I make isn't fucking, um, 
educational, but I'm like, this guy's going out and grabbing animals, so it's like, might as well say something about him. Man, that, that, I, I can't hear this song now without thinking of like, I've been fucking muted. Damn it. Ah! Anyway, there's a lot of cringe moments at GDQ. I don't know how much of that I got out, but I know. However, I don't think anything's ever gonna beat when just like this miserable guy is dressed like Link speedrunning. Um. This guy looks like really miserable, um... Ah, crap. Okay. Um... But yeah, no, just there's this guy who just looks miserable dressed like Link. Um... Uh, speedrunning like Ocarina of Time, and... Like, they're talking about how, like, you know, you know, they're raising money for cancer research or something. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, but, like... Um, and there's this girl, like, knitting behind him who, like... I guess she gets the mic because she lost, like, her grandmother to cancer, and she's like, I'm knitting this with, with this, and it's like, okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's very sad. But then she's like, oh my god, shut the fuck up! Stop playing the fucking game! And it's like, jeez, lady. Oh, boy. Crap, crap, it changed on me, like, right then and there. Like, fuck off. No! No! Fuck! 
Fuck off, for real? No, 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 that one was mine! That one was mine, goddammit! That one's mine too, goddammit! No! No! Get out of there! Run! Run, Banjo! Run! 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 God damn it! Run, Banjo! Fuck! No! 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 Oh, man! Oh, fuck! Well... I always hated, like, quitting out of this game, because it, it gives you fucking this. It gives you fucking this. Like, when you save and quit, it's the same as getting a game over. And also, Jesus Christ, what a fucking baddie. Oh my god. Maybe this isn't a problem after all. Yes, Mumbo, you can escape the male loneliness epidemic. Like, it's like the game is mad at you just for, like, wanting to stop playing. Like, Christ, I'm sorry! But, anyway, guys, it's about that time. I think I did the same thing. Um, okay. But here, let's, uh... Dun -dun -dun -dun. No! You're done! You're done! Don't forget me! Okay. Hang on. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. All right, time to put on that old song and get the fuck out of here, guys. All right, let's put it on and get out of here. What the fuck? Oh! Damn it. All right, everybody. That's another MoCo Super Stream. In the can. I'm not doing a bathtub stream side hustle. That's uh, that's not that's not a thing. That's not a thing. But that's another Pokemon Super Stream in the can. We well, we 100%ed Clanker's Cavern, Treasure Trove Cove, and uh, Bumbo's Mountain. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Kind of have to go back to Bubble Gloop Swamp and uh, Swamp. And do all the rest of that shit. But hey! For now, we did it. We did that for now, I, I guess. This is good. Which is good. But anyway, it's time to get out of here. No specific kudos to give, except for the biggest kudo of all, which goes to you! Yes, specifically you. You and everybody else, but also specifically you. You're part of everybody else. Thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out. Yeah, big W for the tag team of Guitar and Mokoi. Yep. 
But thank you so much for being here, hanging out, tuning in. Because there's a million things you could have been doing. Desktop audio has not been on this entire time. God damn it. Starting over. Son of a bitch. Why was desktop audio off? What? What? Desktop what? What? Was desktop audio on? Why was there a little X through it? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. All right, everybody. That's another Bokai Super Stream in the can. We 100%ed Mumbo's Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, and Clanker's Cavern. Uh, gonna have to come back to Bubble Gloop Swamp, though. I didn't do too good there. I didn't do too good there. Things could definitely be going better in Bubble Gloop Swamp. But that's another Bokai Super Stream in the can. No specific kudos to give today, except for the biggest one of all, which goes to you. Yes, yeah, specifically you. It goes to everybody, but also specifically you, because you're a part of everybody here at the Mokoi Super Stream. Because there's a million things you're going to be doing, and there's a million things you're going to be watching, but you parked it right here at the Mokoi Super Stream, and for that I am eternally grateful. I say this every stream, because every stream I fucking mean it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll be back tomorrow at the regular time, 3 p.m. Central Time, with more Tokyo Mirage Sessions. We're getting pretty far into that game. Everyone likes a good Tokyo Mirage Sessions, right, boys? Right? Right? We love it. We love it. We love it. But anyway, it's time to get the fuck out of here. I gotta go to the grocery store and then try to catch some other stuff later. So let's, uh... Let's, uh... Who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Um... I don't know. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Uh... I don't know. We're gonna raid Jimmy Roka. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna raid them. They look nice. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Goodbye. So long, everybody. Get in. Get in the raid. Get in the raid. Get in the raid boat. We're going. We're going, boys. We're going raiding. All right. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. So long. Say goodbye to guitar. <laughs> Okay, good boy.